Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In this video, we look at a guru who I've covered on several occasions who's been giving bad advice throughout his channel history. And in this case, it is no different. I mean, there's just so much word salad garbage coming out of this, his gutter hole. I mean, it's hard to tie it all together, but then I'm going to see if I can do my best to translate it for you. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yo, family, how y'all doing? What's going on? Um... You know, in my last video, I think I spoke about it. Not my last video, but it was a video I made a while back. I had spoke about jurisdiction, right? When it's dealing with personam jurisdiction and subject matter jurisdiction. But let me also explain some situations. Let's just say if you were driving a car, right? Wait a second here. Uh, right off the bat, soft heart, you're really disappointing me. Because aren't you gurus supposed to pound it in the head of your students that... You're not driving, you're traveling, and it's not a car. It is a it is a boat of some kind or something like that. I don't know. But uh, that's the way it usually works, isn't it? Right. And you are a so-called convicted felon. Let's just say the police pulled you over. They ran your passport. It came back. You was a national, right? They seen or smelled something suspicious. They said, step out the vehicle, right? Now, in cases they might, they might ask you that, right? So if they say step out the vehicle, right? Let's say if they search the vehicle, they found guns and whatever, right? And you were convicted felon. Now, if the police fail to gain jurisdiction over you. If you are talking about police jurisdiction, at its heart, it's uh, all about territorial jurisdiction as far as that goes because different police departments have different areas that they cover and it depends on a uh, wet a uh, level uh, you are dealing with, whether it is uh, city, county, state, or federal jurisdictions. I mean, if you uh, get caught on the uh, highways by uh, like the Florida Highway Patrol, if you're in Florida, then you are going to be caught no matter what territory you're in in the state of Florida. So if you are in the operational area of that particular law enforcement agency, then you are in their territorial jurisdiction and they can search your car with probable cause, which you are going to be using interchangeably with jurisdiction because you never mentioned probable cause in this video, but you use it interchangeably with jurisdiction. What they might do is, right, and now this, now this can't happen. I'm not, like I say, nothing is perfect, but you're gonna be in a better situation than most people. Now, the worst situation that can happen is you going to jail, but you're not going to jail, right? If, if, if they got jurisdiction, you're going to jail. But let's just say if they don't have jurisdiction over you, uh, what will happen is they will take the drugs. I mean, not the drugs, but the guns. So they will take it from you. Now, if they take it from you, it'd be a wrap. Like, you have to buy some more and you can put the lawsuit in or do whatever you want. But that at that particular moment, they can say it's, it raises a public safety issue, right? And the reason why I say that is because that's one thing that the police would try to do. If they don't have jurisdiction over you, they'll say, oh, you know what? This is what we're going to do. We're going to say this is a safety issue. We don't want him to have a firearm. Let's just take the guns away from him. We don't have jurisdiction, but we have to take the, the firearms away from him. Uh, everything that guy just says is bullshit. Thank you. Now, earlier he mentioned national and passport. Well, if you're a national and all you've got is a passport, you're going to get arrested anyway because you need a driver's license to begin with. In addition, if you are a convicted felon, then essentially you have given up your Second Amendment rights uh, anyway, and you're not supposed to have any uh, firearms in your vehicle. And if you are pulled over and if they have probable cause to search your vehicle, such as the smell of marijuana emanating from it, and they find those weapons in your vehicle during a search, well, then you're going to be up shit creek without a paddle. 
I mean, the police officers are not going to come up with jurisdiction issues just to make sure that they get those guns out of your car. You're not supposed to have them in there to begin with. And then you would be in a way better situation. Like, as far as, like, you go home, you know? So a, a person being caught with a gun and you a convicted felon and they can't arrest you, but they just took the gun, most people run run to that in a heartbeat. But yeah, I'm just I'm just spreading this information to y'all. You know, a lot of people might ask, oh, what, like, what about the car? You know, um, the car can happen the same thing. If they don't have jurisdiction over the vehicle, yeah, that's true. They don't have to have jurisdiction over the vehicle. They don't have to have jurisdiction over you. But if it raises a safety issue, maybe they will take the vehicle. Now, as far as um, arrest goes, yeah, they might not have jurisdiction to arrest you, correct. Dude, I don't know how many times you've done it. I haven't counted, nor do I wish to count. But there have been numerous occasions already that you have mistaken probable cause with jurisdiction, getting them mixed up, and not even using probable cause once in this whole video when you should have been using it to begin with. Because you're just not very good at this, are you? You don't know your definitions. How can you teach people this stuff if you don't even know it yourself? So that means you would just be on the damn road without a vehicle, or you would be on the road without your gun. You get what I'm saying? But you won't be arrested, but it's possible. Like, it, it, it's small stuff, y'all. Like, stuff like this can't happen. So I'm not gonna say nothing is perfect. Like I'm, I'm not gonna say everything is perfect. Like I'm, I'm perfectly out of their jurisdiction. Listen, what I'm saying is it can raise a safety issue. Arrest has to do everything has everything to do with jurisdiction. Oh, the stupid it burns. You have to be a very moronic person to buy this guy's bullshit. I mean. Jurisdiction is the primary uh, issues with arrest? No, no, no. There are other factors that go go on, go into an arrest, including probable cause, the attitude of the person that's being arrested, perhaps leading up to the arrest. So in other words, the attitude of the person. I mean, there's a lot that goes into it, not just jurisdiction jurisdiction in this case would be territorial if the cop was in the right territory inside his territory if he didn't if he wasn't in his territorial jurisdiction then there would be an issue that is the main issue right there with jurisdiction but taking uh taking property that's a uh that's a hazard to uh to public safety can call happen so he said if you was out of their jurisdiction, you you driving through America and you got kilos of marijuana in your trunk. Now, they might not have jurisdiction to arrest you, but I'm not saying that doesn't propose a safety issue. And guess what they might do? They might take the marijuana. Now, what you can do, you can sue them in federal court and you can sue them for the full amount. And then, yeah, you can get all that back. So pretty much you sold drugs to the police officer. Um, it was one guy who did that. I ain't going to mention his name. He was a, a famous drug lord. So... The police uh, raided his house unlawfully and they took all of his drugs. And what happened is he sued them in court uh, for the amount that the drugs were worth and he got the full amount. I know the exact reason why you don't even want to give the name of the uh, drug lord involved in this scenario because it's a bunch of bullshit to begin with if you were truly a learned man you would give a citation for this event rather than pulling it out of your ass so um as far as that yes it can happen you can get your car towed as being a national being out of their jurisdiction but they want to arrest you you could be a national and they can take your gun and, uh, and and they won't arrest you. You get what I'm saying? So, situation like that happened. It hasn't happened to me. It never happened to me, but I'm not saying it can't happen to me. But for the most part, it hasn't happened. It, it, uh, it, I mean, it didn't happen. You get what I'm saying? So, just make sure you, you know, on point with that. So, y'all will be like, okay, okay, this make a lot of sense. I'm out.